What's going on guys? It's Sebastian and today's video is going to be five simple tips that anyone can use to help them lose weight. So jumping in at number one, before I make you guys change your diet or lifestyle or anything like that, you first need to learn how many calories you need to either gain, maintain, or lose weight. And you can easily do that at a calorie calculator. I'll show you the one I use. Once you open up your internet browser, you're going to go to calculator.net slash calorie calculator. This website is so easy to use. All you have to do is you have to enter your age, your gender, your height, how much you weigh, how much you exercise, and then calculate. On the top here, you're gonna see how many calories you need to maintain your weight. But if you're watching this video, you're most likely gonna try to lose weight. So look down, you're gonna see 500 less calories from the maintain will get you to lose one pound a week. The reason this is, is because to lose one pound of body weight or gain one pound of body weight, that takes 3,500 calories. So if you're taking away 500 calories from your diet a day, there's seven days in a week, seven times 500 is 3,500. Scientifically, you are going to lose one pound of mass a week. This website isn't pinpoint accurate on how many calories you need to lose from your diet but it does give you a really good rough estimate. I'm showing you guys this because the main thing you need to take away from it is that 3,500 calories is equivalent to one pound of weight loss. You need to remember that. Now that you know how weight is lost scientifically, going into tip number two, it is really simple. All you're gonna do is cut out any high sugar drinks that you may be drinking throughout your daily life. That can include Coke, iced tea, ginger ale, any sort of pop that is high in sugar. And it even includes juices such as orange juice from people like Tropicana, lemonade from them, you know, all those types of juices. They're all extremely high in sugar and are needless calories. One can of Coke is 150 calories. If you drink three of those a day, that's 450 calories. After one week of doing that, you are literally gaining a whole pound from just drinking Coke. That is insane. If you just cut that out and swap it with water, weight loss is gonna come extremely easily for you. Same goes for juices, because juices can also be very high in calories, especially if you get one that isn't low in sugar. So basically what I'm saying is you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot of those really delicious drinks. I know they taste really good, but there's a reason they're really high in sugars, high in calories. Cut those out for water and weight loss is gonna come. Tip number three, if you're a cereal eater like me, you're most likely eating your cereal with 2% milk. If you were to swap that out for 0% milk, you're gonna be losing 40 calories per serving. Me personally, I have close to two servings of milk, so that's gonna be 80 less calories per bowl. Doing that every day for a week, it'll amount up to 540 calories. Now I know that may not seem like a lot, but if you combine this with tip number two in the pot, you are pretty much guaranteed to lose a whole pound a week from just swapping out these two things. Obviously, depending on how much pop and juice you drink though. Tip number four, complex versus simple carbs. Simple carbs are basically your sugars, your white breads, stuff like that. And what they do is they don't necessarily fill you up as much as complex carbs. They don't give you the same amount of energy. They may give you 200 calories, but you're not gonna feel like it was 200 calories. Complex carbs are your whole wheat breads, your grains, stuff like that. What they do is they fill you up a lot faster and longer. So let's say you were to have a breakfast of white bread. It may last you for two hours, but if you have it with complex carbs, which is whole wheat bread, some grains, stuff like that, it is going to last you for three or four hours, depending on your body, of course. But the general rule is complex carbs are gonna last you longer than simple carbs. Why this is a tip is because when you're trying to go on a caloric deficit, your body is definitely going to feel hungry a lot of the time. So eating these complex carbs is going to help you last throughout the day while eating as little as possible, but not starving yourself. Last tip, tip number five. It is literally just making sure you eat breakfast. A lot of people go throughout their life. They wake up, they're like, I'm not hungry and they don't eat their breakfast. And let me tell you this, that is not good for losing weight. It actually hurts your metabolism a lot. To explain why and how, I'm gonna go to my computer and show you some diagrams and stuff like that that I'm gonna draw myself. So let's try this out. Before I explain why you should eat breakfast in the morning, first, I'm gonna explain what metabolism is. And it's basically the process by which your body converts what you eat and drink into energy. So when you're trying to lose weight, a good and efficient metabolism is the key to success. 
Going back to my breakfast tip, you've just waking up from an eight hour sleep or more depending on how much you sleep. Your body is literally running on fumes because it hasn't eaten in that long. So what your body does is it slows your metabolism down so that it can preserve the little bit of energy that you have left in your body. If you were to simply eat a banana, a little bowl of cereal or a little snack in the morning, it is going to jumpstart your metabolism and help with weight loss throughout your day. I hope you guys understand all these tips. If you have any questions or need some clarification, be sure to leave a comment comment down below but that's all for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy i hope it does help you out if it did make sure you leave a like comment subscribe do all that good stuff for me it helps me out so much i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video